What's going on everybody? Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video, Moving Weight Fishing. And today we are doing some live baiting off of Jupiter, Florida. I'm with my boy Victor from Land Shark Outdoors. Yo, yo. Check him out. I have a link down below to his channel. He's got a YouTube channel too. He's actually really unpopular on YouTube, like 30 subscribers, so you probably don't know him. And this is Vic. I mean, this is CJ. Ceramlock associate. So we're gonna ride out of the inlet. I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> we got a nice fish though, so you can't complain, Vic. How is there not another one yet? Nah, I'm waiting for this. Nice, Dude, I'm gonna fall. Bro, they bite on the backside too. Beautiful little bowl, probably like a 15 pounder. First fish of the day, you can't explain. He's all lit up, dude. That's sick. <laughs> Lost him before like that. All right, he's just gonna get latched in there. Sorry, buddy, you'll, you'll get iced another time. You got anything else to say? I have nothing else to say. <laughs> I literally thought that was about to happen too. Nice dolphin. That's a 20 pounder, dude, on the spinner. Swam right up to the boat. You! Jay got up. Oh, buddy. Like the nice 20 pound dolphin came into the spread, catched him off, life Swam right up to both Vic's like dolphin. Right Vic, you know I got boat. you on the camera. Thank you. I, I, I literally was dreaming about one swimming up to the boat. Just have Dude, to bite on this can. north wind. How did he not find the longs? He swam straight from. So yeah, weird. Dolphin. Jay, we're gonna have to do one out the back on a spinner. You know the vibes. That's a good fish. Hey, yeah, I got you. If you need to give me the remote, too, just let me know. <clears throat> oh boy. I'm just, I'm more worried about like the waves coming over the back of the Yeah, no, we're good. I just had to move the rod. I wasn't paying attention to it. All right, what is, you got a tuna? He's staying down deep. That's a nice one, dude. They believe just dancing in the They do that a lot, bro. It's honestly crazy. Big drop. Know me. Whoa, whoa! Greyhounding. That's a nice one. That's a 25 pounder. Hey, tell me what's up. Mountain. On the spinner. Oh. Whoa! You did you miss some sick jumps. Oh, oh, what happened? My anti reverse just went. Classic. No, don't get in the long. So I was just digging. We all had our lines out. I was like, there's a dolphin right there. 20 pound dolphin, just swam into the spread. Jay grabbed a spinner with a free line hook on it, tossed it a sardine, immediately went for it. He's got a nice dolphin on Everything is hard to do today because it's... I'm gonna re anyway, so. Yeah, all right. 
Yeah, what the heck? This is a nice fish. Vic just hopped swim right up to the boat, but he's staying deep. At least he's not. I mean, he has jumped a lot though. So it looks like you have a freaking tuna on. <laughs> on the spinner, there he is down deep. Oh, Becker! Oh, you're tight. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, I just pulled him off. Watch the front rod, it's gonna get bit. Dang it, hang it, Jay. Can't reset. Oh, front rod just got eight. Did it? I saw. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I think it's the way. That's a nice fish, Jay. No, he's eight, he's eight, he's eight. Double. Oh, your boys. Yeah. I got a tuna. I got a, I got a tuna. Yeah. You got a nice tuna. Yep. Backside, baby. Front rod, I mean, back rod got smoked too, bro. Is this the big, the small again? No, that's the big one. Do you have a small one? Yeah, but that's fine. Come on, Vic. Get him, baby. I got a black fin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Vic. Right when you got this, freaking SPJ. Jay, as soon as the fish comes in the boat, freaking pop a new bait in. What are these kids doing? In the boat. Nice fish. Watch the camera bag, it might fall in the water. Nice job. Careful. Got him on the SPJ. You good? Uh, uh oh. Yeah, I know. Cool. He's right here. Freaking jig in his mouth. Mini drop, Jay? What do you got? Nice tuna. Hey, you got him? Yeah. No, I want the little gaff, little gaff, little gaff. And the head, Jay. <laughs> little one, little one, the head. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Just take your time. I just want to get him in the head, you know? I know. Here, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Little double header for me and Jay. Not bad. That's how you turn it around real quick. Nice eyes, Vic. I guarantee we get another bite. As long as it doesn't come out of the boat. How's it coming, Vic? That's tuna. Not me. Yeah, here, take it back. That's a big, that's a big fish. That is a big dolphin, here. Nice job. You got a lot going on. A lot going on, boys. I have, I have a lot on this one, but now I can't see. I just want to get another bait out of there. The dolphin made a mess. A mess. They tend to do that. Yeah, they tend to do that. Come on, Jay. Get him, get him, yes! Yeah. It's great! That's 
<laughs> there it is, baby. All right. Nice and jump, tuna? Yeah, oh yeah. Dumped it. We got sharks, Jay, so. Like he ate your Dean. We literally just reset. Jay's got him on the bow. Here we go. Getting a, getting a rod out. Oh. Give... Oh. Are you on, Vic? Unless you tangle with Jay. Is that the smallest bull of bonita I've ever seen? What is that? That's a speedo. No. It's not a speedo, it's a bonita. Really? Yo, look at this thing. He's freaking out. This is a giant dolphin, CJ. Sail. 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 Dang it. All right, as you guys can tell, this boat is absolutely wrecked right now. We got blood all over the front of the boat, the back of the boat, the coolers, the seats, the cushions. It's everywhere. But that's part of fishing. And my buddy CJ here owns a company called Ceramlock Coatings. CJ, tell us about it real quick. All right, so the whole boat is coated. Here, look up here. Go to the deck. That's the worst part. I showed him it. Bad. It's bloody. Let's see it. Can I get a little wet? It's rough. Pour a little bit of water on the boat. So the coating's actually filling the pores of the gel coat so that the blood can't actually seep into it. That's when you get back to the dock, you gotta break out the bleach, start scrubbing to get that blood out. With this, you could let it sit for hours and you're fine. Just wet it a little bit and it brushes right off. You don't need to break out bleach. And it's actually true. I'm, I'm, all the boats I fish on, I've highly requested CJ to go coat them and what she did because I'll never clean a boat again without saran lock on it. It's just, it's not even fun fish. Like cleaning a boat for two hours and you get back to the dock, it's, it's the most aggravating thing. It's the last thing you want to do. Any fisherman can tell you that. This, I never, you just clean the, you just scrub it on the way in. No soap, nothing, just water. Can't dry to the gel coat, so it's wonderful. And you can coat a lot of stuff with it, but. Leave a little bottle on the boat. Yeah, leave yeah. a little bottle on the boat. Jay's gonna show you a little, little test action. Clean the screen off. Takes off the water spots too. Let that sit for 10 minutes and we'll wipe it right off. How long does it last, Jay? Um, I mean, you could coat everything. So like metal, electronics, stuff like that, um, on gel coat, six months. Just this this stuff, the 600, but it's super easy to apply. So me personally, I would recommend having CJ come to your boat and coat it yourself, it's a lot easier. He knows what he's doing. And you guys can save 10% off on your whole order, whether you want to order a bottle of this stuff online, I'll have the right one linked down below, sramlockcoatings.com, or if you want CJ to come to your boat and do it, Anywhere from Stewart to Palm Beach, basically. Yeah, anywhere in Southeast Florida. Anywhere in Southeast Florida, honestly. Just, I'll have his phone number linked down below and the website. And you can use code ADAM10 if whatever it is. If you want to get your boat coated, text CJ, say you watch a video, ADAM10, you'll get 10% off on the whole order. So, helping the Moving White fam out. Let's get back into the video. All right, guys, I just hooked a big black fin on the slow pitch, for sure way down deep he smoked it yeah dude that was, sick. That was like uh i don't know i want to say 100 150 feet down definitely yeah. vic's been jigging literally His life all day. away literally all day he deserves this fish sometimes you gotta drop the jig i mean i'm a big believer in live bait too but if your baits can't be seen by the tuna, like this fish is probably 200 feet down and sometimes they're just real stubborn and they don't want to come up. So you never know, right? You never know. Got to drop the jig. He's right. Got to have the full spread out and jig fish. Jig foolery. That's All right, guys, I got smoke on the slow pitch about 200 feet down. This is probably our fourth drift at this spot. 
Um, CJ caught a real nice dolphin. Adam caught a nice dolphin. Blackfin, absolutely sloppy out here. I mean, it looks like it's gonna be a decent tuna. Yeah, yeah. Same trade up. Yeah. Never hurts to uh, throw the jig. I mean, you guys know I love jig fishing, but we got um two or two sardines up top and then one on bottom or one kind of deep. But this jig was like 200 feet down, which the tunas could be down there. You know, we're in 300 plus feet of water. You never know where they're going to be sitting in the water column, so it never hurts to jig. I hope you guys can tell on the camera, it's rough out here. Big tip jig guy at heart. There he is, it's a nice right tuna. Oh, yeah. probably 10, 10 pounds, 10, 12 pounds. Doing that signature tuna pinwheel. They'll make that first run and then they just do big circles. There he is right there, guys. Yeah, it's a good one. Nice black. Thank you, call it. You said you wanted them. That's a good one. Yeah. 15 pounder. He's a keeper. <laughs> but such a sick fish. Oh yeah. You want to bleed him, right? Yeah, just throw him in the bag. All right, we are back oh, in, yeah. and we are done fishing. We weighed the fish, gutted him. The bull that I caught was uh, 17. 17. 17, and CJ's cow was 21. 21. Nine pound tuna and 11 pound tuna. We're gonna sell three of the fish, and Vic's gonna take a tuna, do a catch clean cook. If you guys want to see that, go check it out on his channel. Like I said, I'll have it linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. Subscribe to Victor if you're not already. Until next video, moving weights out.